वेल डॉक्टर अहमद काइंडली टेल अस मोर अबाउट रेडियोलॉजिकल इन्वेस्टिगेशन दैट्स नाइस डॉक्टर सरेश बेसिकली दिस इज़ अ सी टी स्कैन ब्रेन प्लेन एक्जियल व्यू एंड इट्स द अमेजिंग सी टी स्कैन बेसिकली एक्सपेशली फॉर द मेडिकल ग्रेजुएट्स बिकॉज इट इज़ कवरिंग अ लॉट ऑफ इन्फॉर्मेशन लाइक इन फॉक्शन यू आर सींग ऑन द स्क्रीन एंड दैन दिस इज़ द प्लेन फिल्म एंड फाइनली आफ्टर दैट दैट्स द कंटिव्यून डोंट वरी अबाउट दिस थिंग वी विल डिस्कस वन बाई वन इन वेरी मच डिटेल आफ्टर दैट यू आर सींग दैट देयर इज़ अ मिड लाइन शिफ्ट ऑल्सो एंड नाओ यू आर सींग अगेन प्लेन फिल्म एंड फाइनली देर इज़ द सब गैलियर हिमोटोमा इज देयर एंड नाओ अगेन शोइंग द प्लेन फिल्म एंड आफ्टर दैट आई विल मार्क दैन देर इज़ द सब रेकनाइड हेमरेज एंड यू आर क्लियरली सीन एज ए मार्किंग क्रीनिश मार्किंग and now that's the frontal bone fracture and there are a lot of findings in this and now you are seeing on the screen there is a subdural hematoma well dr amer you explained very well now tell us about the contusions how contusions look on the ct scan uh, well dr aksa it looks like the salt and the pepper appearance uh, when you mix the salt and pepper and the appearance whitish and the blackish appearance it comes when it mixes with itself then it looks like the contusion of the brain basically uh, this is a case of traumatic brain injury uh, uh, two sc- types of the skull injuries are there one is the scalp injury and other is the traumatic brain injury and the further traumatic brain injury we divide into different categories a lot of findings you are seeing here in the initial of the video i have explained Okay, Dr. Amber. Now tell us about the difference between extradural hematoma and subdural hematoma. How they look on CT scan? Well, your question is very good. I must tell you that a subdural hematoma it looks like the concave or the crescent shape, and it's because of the bridging veins, and especially it occurs in the elderly or the or the alcoholic peoples. While on the other hand, epidural hematoma it's the convex shape, like the shape of the lens, and it's due to to the middle meningeal artery. and there is a concept of the lucid interval in the epidural hematoma while there is no concept of the no concept of the lucid interval in subdural hematoma dr amer what is lucid interval well uh, lucid interval it's a period of time between regaining the consciousness after a shorter period of unconsciousness resulting from the head injury and deteriorating after the onset of neurological signs and symptoms caused by that injury well at this point i must tell you that now we are seeing the on the bone window of the ct scan here you will focus only on the bones of the skull on the screen you are clearly seeing that frontal bone some part of the frontal bone it is missing means frontal bone fracture is there it is also known as the frontal burst on both the sides frontal bone is fractured amer does fracture of the skull bone need any surgical intervention uh, well dr aksa it depends upon the type of the fracture if it is not displaced fracture then you don't need uh, surgery but if it is a depressed skull fracture i am again using the word depressed skull fracture then it needs surgery then you need the surgery for the elevation of that segment of the bone well now you are seeing the 3d images on the ct scan showing the fracture of the bone which were seen in the previous sections and you can clearly see that there is a fracture of the frontal bone and finally we are zooming out to show you all the details so thank you so much for watching the video and if you learned something from our video then do subscribe my channel surgeon dr amir glani and finally at the end again thank you so much for your patience